captain, my oh, captain. B D E oh, in B -D -E. the building. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and that's oh. big deck, deck energy. energy. There we go. Indeed. Tell us about this new show. I mean, we are on the most beautiful cruise ship you've ever seen in Ryan Murphy world, doing the craziest things you've ever thought of in the nicest clothes I've ever worn. I know that's right. Yeah. So it's good, and you know we got a great gang together. His dialogue is crackling. His world is always amazing. So, so far, we're having a great time. We love the roles that you continuously take that shock us and take us Knock on wood, if that's wood. Yeah. What goes into choosing this? I mean, it's a different thing every time. But I will tell you, for this one, for Dr. Odyssey, when the first conversation I had with Ryan was like, man, I'm going through some things. I've spent 10 years playing some pretty questionable characters. I would like to go and do a guy who's light, who is charming, who is funny, and who I feel good about myself when I come home from work every day. And so far, that's what the show is. Whoa, but that's actually kind of amazing to think about having that kind of relationship with other creators where it, it can be reflected it can be that. in that. Yeah. Well, you know, I have a, I have a beautiful four-year-old girl, and she's starting school, so a big consideration of what I was doing is I need to be here now, right, yeah. so I can be daddy and, and do all that. And he gets that. He's a father. So the show clears me to every morning I get to take her to school before I go to work. Wow. So get to have a little bit of real life. And, you know, it's just funny as life goes on, right? The, the priorities change. So that was a big thing for me. But also just to get to work on his dialogue. It's also front footed. It's ba 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 And he puts together a great cast. And it's you sexy. It's just a sexy. I mean, I wasn't going to say I it, mean, but I you said it, 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 and I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> we were talking about being at the Emmys. How special. Do you remember your very first audition? Was it for Dawson's Creek, or was it before? Oh no, my first job was, uh, my first movie job was, I booked on my 11th birthday, and? 1989. And I only got the audition, actually technically, I'm a Nepo baby, in the weirdest possible way. But my mother was a casting director, and she was a single mom. And so I was in the, uh, the office all the time, because she didn't have childcare, right? Just hanging out. Right. And as they were trying to cast up these roles, they couldn't find the kids. And so they were just like, hey you, you want to come in and jump in here? And that's how my career started. What was the role? Uh, it was to play Pete Berg's, the younger version of Pete Berg in a flashback sequence in a movie called Crooked Hearts in 1989. And here you are. And here I am. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. Life That's pretty good. incredible. Well, Captain, my Captain, enjoy. Congrats Pleasure. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bro, it sounds like a new enjoy. tattoo, I'm just saying. <laughs> BDE! BDE! Big deck energy. energy.